Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Source. This is the, our installation video on our recent unboxing of the Cooler Master Hyper 101 CPU cooler. So we're going to be doing the installation on an AMD uh, socket, so it'll be a little different, different for your Intel guys. So first thing you're going to need to do is remove your original CPU socket, unless you're installing the CP, unless you're not installing your uh, AMD CPU. So we're going to go ahead and just remove that. So you just unplug it. And uh, there goes my phone. And that's it. That one's off. And basically, this is going to be... So, hey, just for a little comparison, guys, here's the old one. So the new one's definitely going to provide a lot better cooling. You can just it's tell there's a lot bigger fan. A lot bigger fan. This one is just looking at like a brick, basic cooling. Yeah. So now we're going to want to uh, take our CPU cooler. We peeled off the... Uh, peel this off before using the protection plate for the bottom. Oh, if you want to show that? Yeah, I didn't Since get it in the shot. I didn't get it in the shot? Okay. So, uh, next, we're going to want to use our Cooler Master Thermal Gel. Uh, and, uh, just going to take that off there. And, uh, Dave, can we see this in the shot? Yep. So you're going to want to put about a dime, so, ooh, that shit squirts out. About that much on it. <laughs> and, uh, that's a bit. That's all you're going to need. And then we're just going to plop her on there. Actually, first... We want to put the CPU bracket on it. It just slides in the middle there. And the other piece. Okay, here we go. And just slide. Hook that one up. That side. Oh, look at that. They all hook right in. Push down. And it's on. And then we're just going to hook up our fan yep. header. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention too, orientation of the cooler is really important. The way we have it is the fan will be blowing towards this way, which means it'll blow right to the back of the case and blow out all the hot air from the CPU. If we oriented it the other way around, it would blow all the hot air this way. If we put the fan on the back side? Yep. Or if you oriented so the fan was pointed downwards, it'd blow all the air up into the into our power supply as well. Which is sometimes preferable to having it blow down towards yeah. the graphics card. So it, it really depends on your case. Yeah. So definitely look at where it's blowing the air and what would be filtering it out, or rather blowing it out. Yep, and you can also install an optional 100, I mean 180 millimeter fan. So you want to point it so it's blowing the air off too. Often, no, not, not all CPU coolers have this capability, but some yeah. do. So And this one actually came with all the brackets and screws. So I'm gonna install this myself later. So anyways guys, thanks for checking out an instructional video on the Cooler Master Hyper 101 installation and uh, be sure to uh, check out other uh, tech, tech source videos and rate and subscribe please. Thanks guys, remember subscribe.